Hello, this is Oleg with OpenBOM. In my video today, I want to give you a quick demonstration how you can create 150% BOM and filter different configurations of the product that's stored in this 150% BOM. Now, if you never heard about 150% BOM concept, in a nutshell, it allows you to create all information in the single BOM and then uh, filter so-called use views to get access to a particular configuration. Now we can speak about uh, advantages and disadvantages of this method in the separate article and video, but today I just want to show you what you can do with OpenBOM with the power of OpenBOM data model and filtering capabilities. So I do have a top level item and I will open this uh, bill of materials for this item. And now we will be playing with the data model and we will be playing with views. So let's first take a look at this in a multi-level. So pay attention, there is a property called CFG. Now, important that this property exists in the BOM. It is an instance property and not a catalog item property, which is usually comes with the parentheses. So this is the instance property, which means the same item coming in the, the same BOM can come with a different instance parameter. So in this case, the same BOM has the same item with the two different parameters in the instance, which means they can belong to different configurations. In my case, I would be using it as an indicator of configurator. Now I can build now user defined views and I build one, I build a CFG 10 and CFG 20. So I build these views already and I will show you that you can add a filter and I can add a 10 as an indicator of a filter and I can now create the same for 20 and I already actually did it and now I can filter. So when I'm filtering a particular view, OpenBOM goes and applies this view and filtering out all relationships with the instance parameter on the BOM, which is 10. Now the same for 20, I can switch for 20 and I can get a different view indicating this is the configuration of the product. Now this is not fully fledged variants, but in fact it's quite robust and you can build it to maintain simple structured configurations and filter them out. So take a look, it shows the flexibility of OpenBOM data model and uh, certainly we will uh, improve and increase the complexity of configurations that OpenBOM can handle in the future. And uh, that was uh, all for today. Again, check this out, make a try and use uh, filters with uh, views to filter out a particular configuration of the product based on the filtering of parameters. That's it. Thank you very much and see you in the next videos.